Hey guys, quick note. I just created a Discord channel where we can talk about Oval series, ask for feedback, just build a community where we can just help each other out, turning left and having fun. You can even send in clips of your own racing for people like me or two-time podium 500 champion Lake Peterson to look over. You can join through the pinned comment or there's a link in the description as well. All right, back to the lap. All right, let's take a look at that. So the first thing that we're gonna do as usual is the outlap where I do a huge braking right before the corner to slow my car way up so that I can get a sort of a straight line slingshot out of the corner. So you wanna get your car all the way up into this area right by the number here. And then we'll see what happens from there. So we go there straight towards that number three and then kind of Turn it back down the hill, get your wheel as straight as possible, and make the corner as, as straight as possible on exit. So you see here I'm carrying a really decent amount of speed. And so for hot lap only, I hit the chip once or twice, and then I go straight to the yellow line. So we can see here, so we're gonna go over the race line a little later, but this is the hot lap line where you see I'm aiming myself almost exactly towards the yellow apron line there, trying to wrap the bottom. And you see I'm carrying a decent amount of brake. This must be about 35% or so. So just dragging the brake, keeping on the brake, keeping on the brake, still on the brake. And you notice, we'll go back a little bit here, keep your eye on the brake and the throttle here. I go straight from the brake to the throttle. I don't want any rolling time in between it. If my car is able to get on the throttle, it, um, you need to go exactly from brake to throttle. So brake to throttle, carrying about 80%, maybe backing it down a bit, and then once you feel like you can straighten the car out, I only hit the 100% throttle when my angle is mostly straight. So if we go back a couple, a little bit here, so you see how I'm still off the gas half because my angle off the corner is still headed towards the wall. But now my angle, when I'm back full on the throttle, is pretty much straight off the corner. You can see the back stretch. So make sure that you do not get full on the gas until you can basically see the back stretch. You can be mostly full throttle, but if you try to jack your wheel any more to the left while under full throttle, that's what causes 90% of people spinning out in qualifying and the races. So this will be one of my tips for the race as well, is don't go full throttle until you are pretty much a straight shot off the corner. Okay, so we make that last bit of adjustment on the back stretch, carrying a decent amount of speed. And now you see the point there. The point is anywhere between that stoplight and where the wall ends. It's about halfway in between where the stoplight is and where that wall uh, go, gets and breaks open a bit. Now we get back the same 40-ish percent on the brake, get it right to the yellow. And now here you'll notice, you, you would notice that I had an opportunity to throttle up a little earlier than I did. And the reason that I did that is because at USA, the straightaways are so short that by wrapping the yellow for that little extra time as opposed to sliding up the exit with uh, more speed, then that time that you gain by cutting the bottom there is actually going to be faster than sliding up the track. So that's a very important thing to remember is that when you feel like you can get back on the throttle for turn four, wait just a little bit longer 
make sure you are on that yellow line and uh, that's going to make your best exit. So you see here, I'm still left sides on the yellow and I carry it almost all the way to the grass. And that was very important for gaining the bit of time off the corner. All right, so now let's look at a little race run I did. I only was able to do 30 laps here because of some time constraints and wasn't able to do a real race, but I think I got a pretty good idea of what you're gonna wanna do for your race line. And the theme of the day is going to be patience and self-control. It's very easy to get tempted by the USA Raceway track to both enter too hot and throttle up too early. So as you can see, I'm braking very early and getting down to the yellow and just waiting there a little longer than you would think I would need to. That was a bit of a bad example. Looks like I got the apron a little bit there. But you can see that I'm just waiting that little extra time to keep my lefts on the yellow line almost the entire corner. I come up just before the grass. So you see I break a little early, get down to the yellow, and just wait that extra moment to make sure I don't slide up early. And that ensures that I have a very stable entry and exit, as long as I followed a couple of those rules that I talked about in qualifying, where you don't want to be full throttle before you can see the back stretch or the front stretch, and you also want to keep your car as, as under you as possible and not having your rears step out from you. So as you can see, I'm not giving myself too shallow of an angle. As you can see, it's a little bit before I get to the yellow line, but once I'm there, I wrap it. And that ensures my exits are very stable. You can see a lot of people spin out at this racetrack, and it's usually either because their angle is wrong, it's too shallow, or they are getting on the gas too hard and too early. And the thing about getting on the gas early is that it's not even a time safe because with the short back stretch here, if you just wait and curl around the bottom of the track, the time that you gain from using that bit of a shortcut will actually even out to people that try to gas up early and slide up to the wall. So really, it's a win-win situation if you can force yourself to be patient around the bottom of the racetrack. You can see I have not strayed from that yellow line over and over again, even as the tires wear, the principles remain the same. So let's take a look towards the end here. Last few laps, I'm go to lap 25. So we have five laps out of my 30 lap run to go. And you can see my cart might feel a little more unstable at first, but the, the principles remain the same. So let's take a look here. I still get my car to the yellow and I still wait that extra moment before I pick it up mostly, but then I don't get full throttle until I can see the straightaway. And now I'm using a little more brake too to woe the car down. You could go for some in-car brake bias adjustments if you're feeling too tight or loose under braking, but the better answer in the middle of a race is usually going to be just to back up your corners. When you're this late in the run, you just want to start braking earlier and earlier. That'll really make the rest of the corner feel a lot smoother. It'll give you the opportunity to get to the bottom. It'll give you the opportunity to engage your rears on the exit. The, the dive bomb line here can potentially save you time, but really, as you can see here, I got a really good entry, but I'm giving it all back. Because when you're giving up on entry, you're gaining on exit. And when you're gaining on entry, you're giving up on exit. There's just not that much room for you to get best of both worlds at this track. So as you see, I got a couple more laps to go in this little run here. And I'm just emphasizing keeping at the bottom of the track. Running 22 threes, I believe those are pretty good times to be running at this stage of the run. And then we're on the last lap here. Just keep it on the yellow, slide up to the wall once it feels like it can make it there on its own. All right, looks like we're coming to the finish here. So. Let's go check our tires and see how this style of driving treats them. So thanks for watching. I think this is a good compromise between the race guide and actually finding time to be able to do a race. I have league on Monday night and other responsibilities, so it's really hard for me to find time to do a race on Mondays. But I still want to get these videos out to you as soon as possible, so I think this could provide a good compromise. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you on the track.